I'm Jermaine O'Neal, and it's time to meet the Heat. Jermaine O'Neal is a uh, typical, prototypical Eastern Conference low post presence uh, that we've come to uh, really like in our, our philosophy and our culture. For his whole career, his strongest attributes has been his defensive um, ability, you know, the way that he can protect the paint. Uh, and he gives a great presence uh, at the rims, blocking shots. Goals, had it blocked by Jermaine O'Neal. Can dunk with both hands, he a hand. Jermaine O'Neal, little jam. He can step out and run pick and rolls and roll to the rim and finish, but he also uh, can shoot the basketball. Jermaine O'Neal dropping in another jumper. It's a guy that you got a game plan for going into a game. Solid big man, he can, he can defend well. He's really good on that block, and I think Michael Beasley's uh, game will expand a little bit too by having a guy like Jermaine O'Neal. I think adding. Uh, Jermaine is definitely going to help them out. Well, enough for me talking about jail. Check out the man himself. I was born October 13, 1978, in Columbia, South Carolina. I was living in Columbia. Uh, it's a very conservative small town. Uh, so it was, you know, the community was very small but very together, and it helped me be the guy I am today. You know, as far as being, you know, very, very respectful to others and, and treating people who I want to be treated. You know, growing up and to this very day, I was a huge and still am a huge football fan. I played Pop, Pop Warner uh, for the most part uh, growing up and then played up until uh, my junior year in high school. I was very, very good at, at the defensive end position and even better at the quarterback position. My brother was always a big basketball fan and he watched you know, all those classic games with Jordan, uh, you know, Bird, uh, Magic, Isaiah Thomas, and uh, he always had me go in the backyard and shoot with him. This is around, around about the age of 12. You know, I ended up going to high, um, Eau Claire High School in South Carolina. And it just so happened to be, um, they had one of the top 25 teams in the country all four years. So it was easy to kind of transition myself into you know, basketball, football. But also I grew from 6'4 to 6'11 in three months. So uh, you know, I was kind of forced out of, out of football and, and right into basketball. And it eventually paid off on me. My freshman year was a little bit tough, but eventually as I grew into the system, it got better and better for me, and I got better as a player. And it was, it was extremely good for me because I was able to play for a really good team with a disciplined coach. I was able to get a lot of notice around the country, and the band number one, number two, I was playing the country from playing through you know, my high school. Well, I won't play the year every year that I played uh, in the state of South Carolina. Um, I broke the all-time uh, shot blocking record. We won three state championships and came up short my senior year in the semifinals. So, you know, the experience is great. Got opportunity to travel you know, around the world you know, with my high school team and, and, and learn a lot of different things and kind of prepared me for that to jump from high school to the NBA. I was drafted in 1996 to the Portland Trail Blazers at the 17th pick. Not playing and being competitive, if you're happy with not playing, then you know, you, you're in the wrong business. You know, I think you should want to play and not be happy with not playing, but at the same time, you have to understand the business. You know, you, at that time, I was the third, fourth best player at my position, so I had to work my way up. Some players come in and uh, give them, you know, everything right away, and sometimes they, you know, they lose sight of what they need to do. And but for me, it was, it was perfect. You know, it was perfect for me to, to get those four years of experience and to put me in a better position. So when I got traded to Indiana, I was ready to, to play right away. It was unbelievable. You know, to this very day, I think um, Isaiah's probably been one of the top six uh, guys in my life who's really had a huge influence on me. You know, Reggie Miller has been, you know, to this very day, we still send, you know, text messages and we talk. So uh, I've, been, I've been very fortunate to play and, and to play for and play with uh, some of the best that's ever played the game. And uh, it's, really, it's really taught me a lot about life and, 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 and the game of basketball. And you know, I try to just put it all together and be the best possible person I could be. He lost the spirit. He did it. Wow. He did it. You know, I've had some huge games against him, but I've also had some like, tougher battles against him with, you know, with Brian Grant. And also, I think most of all, you know, has him. Um, he's been one of those guys that uh, that you hate to play against, but you love to play with. And now I'm very proud to very fortunate to be in an organization like Miami Heat, playing with, you know, UD and, and also with, with D-Wade. Nice pass, Jermaine with a jam. I'm very, very happy about you know, being here. The city has been, been awesome to me. I've gotten you know, tremendous love and, and reception you know, from everybody out in the city, and I appreciate that. I think what I bring to the team is a guy that can really control the middle on both ends of the floor. Uh, I can pass the ball as a big guy. Uh, I 
for block shots. I can score the basketball. I think just my defensive swagger is what, is what I'm really looking forward to really putting onto the team. Inside states blocked by Jermaine O'Neal. Can we really, really gel uh, on both ends before we can be really, really tough? Now that you know everything about Jermaine O'Neal, thanks for taking time out to meet the Heat.